It's so good to be here tonight with you guys. Good job singing choir. Future rock stars are making already rock stars. <laughs> uh, we've been at this now almost ten years, nine years, I guess, this November. And uh, anytime we have a platform, anytime we have a stage, you can sit down for a minute if you want. Anytime we uh, play anywhere, no matter where we are, everyone, yeah. <laughs> Negative attention is attention as well. Um, uh, anyway, anytime we have a, a platform, anytime we have a stage, you know, it's our joy. I hope you can tell we love doing what we do. We love playing music for you guys. And we love traveling. This is actually day 10 on a trip. We've just come from Texas. We played in Austin two nights ago. It was a really fun show. I'm just so glad to be here. We love to share our faith, you know, anytime we're on stage and uh, through our music, you know. And for me, um, there's something I think we all have in common, you know, and that's uh, that we've been hurt, you know. We, we've all experienced pain and separation, that phantom death, you know, we all see it, you know. Every time I turn on CNN, you know, or whatever, I see just another reason to be afraid, you know, to isolate. To hold up, you know. And uh, I know that you've been hurt, you've been kicked around, some of you have been raped, some of you have been hurt beyond magic, and it, you know, beyond anything I can imagine. And I, I know I've been, I've been hurt deeply too, you know. And uh, that pain that we experience, the Bible links it really closely with, uh, with sin. They're almost one and the same, you know. And uh, Every time I see an injustice, I, I feel, uh, you know, angry, appropriately angry. You know, I feel like someone, someone needs to pay for the, for the, you know, the way the world's gone crazy. You know, someone has to pay for the way that I've been hurt. You know, that justice is a good justice. And no matter how much I hate war, and famine, and decay, I know God hates it infinitely more than I do. And uh, I know in moments of true confession, all of us could say, you know, in the wake of our lives, we too have hurt people. And who's going to pay for the hurt that I've caused? Because you know? I can't. I can't make it right. Well, for me, the beauty of the gospel, what the old time was called gospel, good news, is that a very interesting time in history God stepped in, and all that justice that was required, He paid, you know. He paid for every bomb that's ever been dropped, for every, you know, for every way that you've been hurt by your family, you're left alone, you're abandoned, you know, for every cancer that's racked your family, for every divorce, for every church split that's caused just pain, you know. For every sin is accounted. And Jesus took it all. He paid it all. And to me, that's a as a songwriter, that's like a poem, you know. It's a really beautiful poem. It's a story about God and it's a story about love. There's a verse that Jesus says, there's no greater love than this than a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's what he did for me, and that's what he did for me. To me, uh, I love you could not be said in a better way. <laughs> <laughs> 